of 1975 entitled Senator Barr and Bear Open Pub Meeting Act. New Jersey Casino Control Commission on December 7, 2022, filed with Secretary of State at the State House in Trenton and annual meeting schedule. On December 8, 2022, copies were mailed to subscribers. Any member of the public who wished to address the commission will be given the opportunity to do so before the commission adjourns for the day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Welcome everyone who is joining us in person and remotely today. Meeting participants who wish to do so can continue to address the Commission through remote technology. We, also, we are also permitting in-person participation. The public meeting room is therefore open and the appropriate health measures are being taken. We will, however, continue to stream Thank our you. public meetings. The public is able to listen through access provided on the Commission's website, as well as through our YouTube channel. We will accept public comments via email. Public comments can be sent to public.comments at ccc.nj.gov. I will repeat. Public comments can be sent to public.comments at ccc.nj.gov beginning now and any time throughout the meeting, ending at the time of adjournment. This meeting, will be, this meeting is being transcribed as well as recorded and minutes will be available on our website in due course. To meeting participant callers, I ask that you follow the instructions provided with the web link or audio call-in code and place your phones on mute until your matter is called. Also, when your matter is called, please turn on your camera and identify yourself before speaking. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> please answer when I call your name for the roll, please. Commissioner Molyneux? Present. Vice Chair Cooper? Present. And Chairman Pelosi? Present. Thank you. Matters discussed in closed session this morning included employee key license application matters and approval of the closed session minutes of the April 12, 2023 closed session. The first matter for your consideration is ratification of the minutes of the April 12, 2023 public portion of the meeting. Are there any questions for counsel or corrections? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to ratify the minutes of the April 12, 2023 meeting. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. no. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number two are applications <clears throat> for initial casino key employee licenses. They include... Jason E. Anaconi, Avjit Bhattachari, Jeffrey W. Blackwell Jr., Melissa S. Carmen, Stephen E. Carter Jr., Alfredo F. Chow, Brian F. Coney, Natalie DePietro, also known as Natalie Bergizi, James A. Garth, Samantha J. Goldberg, Byron J. Harley, Frederick W. Hoffman, Antonio M. Jorge, Ahmed Khan, Christopher J. Lamond, Wendy N. Lindbergh, also known as Wendy N. Newcomb, also known as Wendy L. Newcomb, Christian D. Lorenzo, Angel J. Martinez. Brian K. McKinnis, Robert E. McVeigh, also known as Bob McVeigh, Kanal L. Parikh, Guravi Sokbrik, also known as Guravi Patel, James J. Streach, also known as Jimmy Streach, James A. Wallace Jr., and Ching Hao Wang. 
with respect to 15, and I will call separately the matters that are recommended for uh, referral, Mr. Chairman. With respect to 15, they include Anaconi, Bachari, Carmen, Carter, DePietro, Harley, Hoffman, Khan, Lamont, Lindbergh, McVeigh, Parik, Skrobik, Stritch, and Wang. Those all have been reviewed by the division as well as commission staff with a joint recommendation that they be approved and granted their initial casino key employee licenses. Are there any questions on any of these matters? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the 15 initial casino key employee licenses. <clears throat> is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. With respect to the Jeffrey Blackwell Jr., Alfredo Chow, Brian Cohen, James Garth, Samantha Goldberg, Antonio Jorge, Christian Lorenzo, Angel Martinez, Brian McGinnis, and James Wallace Jr., have been reviewed by the division with a recommendation that they be referred to conference. Staff has reviewed and also recommend that you refer those to the contested case process. Are there any questions for counsel regarding these matters? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to remand for a hearing of the 10 initial casino key employee license applications. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Agenda item number three is the application of Craven Turner III for a resubmitted casino key employee license. Again, the division has reviewed this matter and recommends that the commission grant the resubmission. Staff concurs and recommend accordingly. Are there any questions regarding this matter? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the resubmission application of Craven Turner III for a casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number four are approvals through delegation of authority <clears throat> between April 1, 2023 and April 30, 2023, pursuant to resolution number 2201-1211-B. Patrick Eeler will review those matters with you. However, no action is required from you at this time. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Patrick Eeler, Manager of Licensing and Financial Evaluation, appearing on behalf of the Commission. Between April 1st and April 30th, 2022, the staff of the Commission's Regulatory Affairs Division granted the following approvals via its delegated authority. On April 5th, 2023, a temporary casino key employee license was granted to Marisol Romero Norwood, also known as Marisol Romero and Marisol Gonzalez, for an assistant slot operations shift manager position at Ocean Casino. On April 11th, 2023, Temporary casino key employee licenses were granted to George Arsenis for a dual rate poker shift supervisor slash manager position and to Tyler J. Garazzi for a sportsbook supervisor position, both at Harris Atlantic City and to Kenneth A. Hiltzberger for a cage supervisor position at Hard Rock Atlantic City. On April 17th, 2023, a temporary casino key employee license was granted to Kevin T. Kenny for a security shift supervisor position at Resorts Atlantic City. Also, multi-casino employee endorsements on existing casino key employee licenses were granted to Michael J. Callahan, Robert T. Caller, and Jillian M. Reed, also known as Jillian M. Krug, for their positions at Caesars, Harris, and Tropicana Atlantic City. On April 21st, 2023, the temporary casino key employee license was granted to Lawrence D. Frazier for a sportsbook supervisor position at Harris Atlantic City. 
Also, uh, CIENJ was added to the previously granted multi-casino employee endorsements on existing casino key employee licenses of Sarah C. Petrosh, also known as Katie Petrosh, and Sarah C. Luthens, and to Bessie A. Sacco, also known as Bessie A. Barcelona, for their positions at Caesars, Harris, Tropicana, and CIENJ. This memorializes the noted approvals that were granted by the Commission's Division of Regulatory Affairs via its delegated authority during this period, and no further Commission action is required. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five is request for inactivation of casino key employee licenses. Again, Patrick Elo will review those matters with you. In lieu of filing a casino key employee license review application, the following six individuals have requested to be placed on the casino key employee license approved inactive list for a period of up to five years. Frank L. Angelosi, David A. Brunette, Daniel R. Chapman, Stuart J. Cohen, Anthony C. Patron, and Paul M. Mew. Commission staff has reviewed these requests and recommends that you grant the requested relief. Are there any questions on any of these matters? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the requested relief and order that the six casino key employee licenses be inactivated. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Item number six is consideration of the lapsing of casino key employee license. Again, that's Patrick Ehler to review them with you. At this time, there are five individuals for your consideration to lapse their casino key employee license. In these cases, the casino key employee license review application filing deadline has passed, and the individual has not filed a casino key employee license review application, nor requested to be placed on the casino key employee license approved and active list. Based on these facts, staff recommends that the casino key employee licenses of the following individuals be deemed to have lapsed. John A. Klontz, Angelo G. Longo, Mark A. McAllister, Thomas M. Rubino, and Kevin G. Stauffer. Are there any questions on any of these matters? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to find that the five casino key employee licenses lapsed pursuant to NJAC 19-41A-6.1F of the regulations. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number seven is consideration of the initial application of Danny Hun for a casino key employee license. Senior Counsel Teresa Pimpinelli will review that matter with you. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. <coughs> Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing for the Commission. Before you is a stipulation of settlement for the initial application of Danny Hoon for his casino key employee license. If approved, his key license would be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation for this matter. Mr. Hoon was represented by counsel who was unable to be present for today's proceedings. I would now ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Danny Hung for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. 
Thank you. Item number eight is consideration of the initial application of Monique Garcia for a Casino King employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Teresa Pimpinelli will review that with you. Chairman and Commissioners, again, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing for the Commission. Before you is a stipulation of settlement for the initial application of Monique Gracia for her Casino Key employee license. If approved, her license will also be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation for this matter. Ms. Gracia was notified of today's proceedings. I would now ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement, the division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Monique Gracia for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. <coughs> aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. <coughs> Thank you. Item number nine is consideration of the resubmission application of Lashana P. Mohammed for a Casino Key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will review it with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing for the Commission again. Before you is the resubmission application of Lashana Muhammad for her Casino Key employee license. Ms. Muhammad was notified of her right to request a hearing, but to date, no response to staff's attempted communications has been received. Accordingly, the matter is now ripe for your consideration. I would ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. On February 9th, 2023, the division filed a letter report recommending that the resubmission application of Lashana Muhammad for Casino Key Employee Licensure be remanded and a conference be held in order to address Lashana Muhammad's qualification for Casino Key Employee Licensure as required by Section 89 of the Casino Control Act. Subsequently, the Commission at its March 8th, 2023 meeting remanded the matter to the conference process. As advised by the Commission, Lashana Muhammad failed to submit the requisite hearing request form and comply with the contested case process. The Division has also not recently received any communication from Lashana Muhammad. Additionally, Lashana Muhammad is not currently employed in the industry. Therefore, based on Lashana Muhammad's non-responsiveness to the Commission and failure to comply with the contested case process, the Division would request that the resubmission application for Casino Key Employee Licensure of <coughs> Lashana Muhammad be denied. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to A, find Lashana P. Muhammad disqualified, pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 80 B and D, and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 86, and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89. And B, deny her resubmission application for a casino key employee license. And C, revoke her casino key employee license. And for the record, Mrs. Mohammed is not here or telephonically here. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have it. Thank you. Item number 10 is consideration of the initial application of Paige Servini for a Casino Key Employee <coughs> License. Again, so your Counselor Pimpinelli will review that with you. Good morning again, Chairman and Commissioners. Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing for the Commission. Before you is a stipulation of settlement for the initial application of Paige Servini for her Casino Key Employee License. If approved, her key license will be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation for this matter. Ms. Servini was notified of today's proceedings, and I would just ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. 
The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Any questions for counsel? No. no. And for the record, the applicant is not here, correct? Correct. Thank you. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Paige Servini for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Item number 11 is the consideration of the initial application of Matthew Castro for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will address that with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel here for the Commission. Before you is another stipulation of settlement, this one for the initial application of Matthew Castro for his casino key employee license. Again, if approved, his license will be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation. Mr. Castro was notified of today's proceedings, and I would just ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Josh <coughs> Fettis, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement, the division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully requests that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Again, the applicant is not here, correct? Correct. Thank you. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Matthew Castro for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. <clears throat> Any further discussion? No. No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Item number 12 is consideration of the resubmission application of Rafael A. Figueroa III for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will address that. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing again for the Commission. For your consideration are the resubmission applications of Rafael Figueroa for his casino key employee license. If granted, his key license will be approved for the periods of June 1, 2018 through May 31, 2023. June 1, 2023 through May 31, 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendations for this matter. Mr. Figueroa was notified of today's proceedings. I would just ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division filed a supplemental report dated April 5th, 2023, withdrawing the division's request for a conference in this matter as Rafael Figueroa no longer has child support arrearages. Accordingly, the division now recommends the granting of Rafael Figueroa's resubmission application for casino key employee <coughs> licensure. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Again, the applicant is not present? Correct. Great. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the resubmission application of Rafael A. Figueroa III for a casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Item number 13 is consideration of the initial application of Lanny Tate for a casino key employee license. You have Senior Counsel Pippinelli again to review that. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing again for the Commission. For your consideration is the uh, stipulation of settlement in the initial application of Lanny Tate for her casino key employee license. Uh, if approved, her license will be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation for this matter. Ms. Tate was notified of today's proceedings. I would just ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully requests that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Again, the applicant is not here? Correct. Correct. Is there a motion? 
Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Lanny Tate for a casino key employee license, subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Item number 14 is consideration of the initial application of Noelia, Nolelia, sorry, Torres for a casino key employee yeah. license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will review that with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel here for the Commission. Before you is the initial application of Noelia Torres for her casino key employee license. Ms. Uh, Torres was notified of her right to request a hearing, but to date, no response to staff's attempted communications have been received. Accordingly, the matter is now ripe for your consideration. I would uh, just ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. On February 28, 2023, the division filed a letter report recommending that the application of Noelia Torres for a casino key employee license be remanded and a conference be held in order to address the applicant's qualification for casino key employee licensure as required by Section 89 of the Casino Control Act. Subsequently, the Commission at its March 8, 2023 meeting remanded the matter to the conference process. As advised by the Commission, Noelia Torres failed to submit the requisite hearing request form and comply with the contested case process. The Division has recently attempted to make contact with Noelia Torres with no success. Additionally, Noelia Torres is not currently employed in the industry. Therefore, based on the applicant's non-responsiveness and failure to comply with the contested case process, we would request that Noelia Torres's application for a casino key employee license be denied. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. 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 Again, for the record, the applicant is not present. Correct. Thank you. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to A, find Noelia Torres disqualified pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 80 B and D and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 86 and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 and B, deny her initial application for a casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. no. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. Item number 15 is the consideration of the initial application of Alan Haskins for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pippinelli will review that with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel appearing for the Commission. Four year consideration is uh, the stipulation of settlement for the initial application of Alan Haskins for his casino key employee license. If approved, his license will be valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo and recommendation for this matter. Mr. Haskins is present via Zoom. I would ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Additionally, if the applicant wishes to speak on the record, the division <coughs> just requests that he be sworn in prior to doing so. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel or the applicant? Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move Mr. Chairman, to oh, me, you want to ask if Mr. Haskins oh, wishes to be heard? Mr. Haskins, if you could take off your um, mute and your camera and advise whether or not you would like to be heard on the record about anything. I would like to be heard after the meeting. I have a question, if that's okay. You have a question? He said after Correct. the meeting. Correct, but it's not, it's not concerning this directly, but it has something to do with uh, finances. Okay, I'll give you a call after the meeting. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. That's okay. Should I take it off now? Um, I think, yeah, I don't think the commissioners have any questions for you, so yes. Okay. Thank you. 
Again, are there any questions of counsel or the applicant? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Alan Haskins for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. Item number 16 is consideration of the initial application of Billy Hahn for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will review that matter with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, here for my final matter before the Commission today. For your consideration is the initial application of Billy Hoon for his casino key employee license, which, if granted, will remain valid through May of 2028. You have staff's memo for this matter. Mr. Hoon was notified of today's proceedings. I would ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance and proceed. <coughs> Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy <coughs> Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division filed a supplemental report dated May 5th, 2023, withdrawing the division's request for a conference in this matter as the applicant has provided documentation that the applicant amended his federal income tax returns for tax years 2018, 2019, and 2020, and has paid in full all resulting liability. Accordingly, the division now recommends the granting of the application for a casino key employee license. Thank you. Again, for the record, is the applicant here? No. No. Are there any questions for counsel? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the initial application of Billy Hoon for a casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Item number 17 is the petition of Boardwalk 1000 LLC for the issuance of a temporary casino key employee license to Shannon Rivard pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 E and to permit her to assume the duties and exercise the powers of vice president player development pending <coughs> plenary qualification. This matter was initiated for your consideration by petition PRN 111 2302, dated April 21, 2023, seeking the relief requested, which is as indicated for Ms. Rivard to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President Player Development for Boardwalk 1000, doing business as Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We do have counsel present for the division. I believe counsel for <coughs> Boardwalk 1000 is via Zoom, and with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to ask that they enter their appearances and proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. I'm Minette Horner, General Counsel for Boardwalk 1000 LLC. I have had the opportunity to review the draft resolution. I have no objections um, to its form or substance, and I respectfully request that the petition be granted. Excuse me, Ms. Ms. Horner, can we ask that you turn your camera on for the commission, please? Apologies. No problem. Thank you. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Deputy Attorney General Jordan Hollander on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. You have the division's response of no objection to the request for relief. The division has also reviewed the draft uh, resolution and has no objection. Thank you very much. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the petition and issue a temporary casino key employee license to Shannon Rivard, pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B 4 and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 E and NJAC 19, pardon me, 19 colon 41A dash 5.3, and permit her to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President of Player Development for Boardwalk 1000 LLC, 
pending plenary qualification in accordance with the conditions contained in NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 85.1 and NJAC 13 colon 69C dash 2.6. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molina? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Item number 18 is the petition of Boardwalk 1000 LLC <clears throat> for the issuance of a temporary casino key employee license to Sharanj S. Sohi, and I apologize if there's a mispron mispronunciation, pursuant to NJSA 5-12-89E, and to permit him to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President Player Development pending plenary qualification. This matter is a companion to the previous matter initiated by petition PRN 1112302, dated April 21, 2023, requesting permission from Mr. Sohi to assume the duties also of Vice President Player Development for Boardwalk 1000 doing business as Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Again, same council are present, and with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I ask that they enter their appearances and be allowed to proceed. Hello again, uh, Nanette Horner, General Counsel for Boardwalk 1000 LLC. I have had the opportunity to review the draft resolution. I have no objections to its form or substance, and I respectfully request that the petition be granted. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners, Deputy Attorney General Jordan Hollander on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. You have our response of no objection to the requested relief. The division has also reviewed the draft resolution and has no objections. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? <coughs> yes, Mr. Chairman. Excuse me. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the petition and issue a temporary casino key employee license to Sharanjeev S. Sohi, pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89B4 and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89E and NJAC 19 colon 41A dash 5.3, and permit him to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President of Player Development for Boardwalk 1000 LLC pending plenary qualification in accordance with the conditions contained in NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 85.1 and NJAC 13 colon 69C dash 2.6. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Malinow? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Horner. Item number 19 is the petition of AC Ocean Walk 1000 LLC and Luxor uh -oh. Capital Group LP, requesting permission from Michael Jinkelowitz Jinkel to assume the duties and exercise the powers of co chief financial officer pending plenary qualification. This matter was initiated by petition PRN 1182301, dated April 27, 2023, requesting permission, as indicated, for Michael Jankolowicz to assume the duties of co-chief financial officer for Luxar. You have present counsel for Luxar as well as counsel for the division, and with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that they enter their appearances and be allowed to proceed. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, Stephen D. Schreier, law firm of Blank Rome, on behalf of AC Oceanwalk LLC and Luxor Capital Group. Uh, we have filed our petition on behalf of Mr. Jenkelowitz, seeking to have him assume the duties uh, and exercise the powers of the co-chief financial officer for Luxor Capital Group. I've reviewed the draft resolution that has been prepared by the commission, and I have no objection to it and would respectfully request that you grant the petition. Thank you. 
Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Ellen Fertago is Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The Division submitted its response of no objection to the temporary qualification of Michael Jankelowicz. The Division has also reviewed the draft resolution and <coughs> has no objections. Thank you. Are there any questions for Council? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the draft resolution and authorize Michael Jankelowicz on a temporary basis and prior to his plenary qualification to assume the duties and exercise the powers of co-chief financial officer for Luxor Cup Capital Group LP, subject to the conditions contained in NJAC 13,69C-2.7D. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molyneux? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 20 is the joint petition of Caesars Entertainment, Inc., and Caesars Interactive Entertainment New Jersey LLC for the issuance of a temporary casino key employee license to Lisa Rankin pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 E and a waiver of the residency <coughs> requirement pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B4 and to permit her to assume the duties and exercise the powers of vice president of compliance and licensing pending plenary qualification. This particular matter was initiated by petition PRN 1222303, dated May 2, 2023, seeking approval as indicated for Lisa Rankin to begin to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President of Compliance and Licensing for CIENG, <coughs> Caesars Interactive <coughs> Entertainment, New Jersey. You have counsel for both the petitioner and the division president. And with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I ask that they be allowed to enter their appearances and proceed. Morning. Good morning, Chairman, members of the commission. Pacifico Agnolini from Brownstein Hyatt Farber Shrek on behalf of Caesars Entertainment, Inc. and Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC. Before you today is a petition seeking the issuance of a temporary Casino Key employee license uh, for Lisa Rankin uh, with a waiver of residency and also permission for her to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President of Compliance and Licensing. Uh, we have uh, reviewed the draft resolution, have no comments or uh, suggested edits to that, and we would ask that it be approved. If you have any questions, we're here. Thank you. The division filed an email response on May 9, 2023, not objecting to the issuance of a temporary key employee license and the qualification for Lisa Rankin to assume the duties and perform the functions of Vice President of Compliance and Licensing for Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC. We also do not object to a waiver of the re New Jersey residency requirement um, the division reviewed the draft resolution and submitted a request for a minor change uh, for consideration, but otherwise has no objection. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel? No. No. I just have one. Um, I know she does regional, or she does a number of properties. How often would she be in New Jersey? Um, probably would not be in New Jersey all that At often. All. Um, this is a position that uh, was created because Caesars has an, an unusual structure because there are so many uh, available skins under the Caesars umbrella and because there were IGMs, sometimes you have one IGM. Here we have multiple with them reporting to one person. So the IGMs are here in New Jersey, but um, she is the person she's, that they are reporting to is not. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for counsel? Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the joint petition and issue a temporary casino key employee license to Lisa Rankin 
pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B4 and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 E and NJAC 19 colon 49, pardon me, 41 A dash 5.3 and permit her to assume the duties and exercise the powers of Vice President of Compliance and Licensing for Caesars Interactive Entertainment New Jersey LLC pending plenary qualification in accordance with the conditions contained in NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 85.1 and NJAC 13 colon 69 C dash 2.6 and 2.7 and further grant the petitioner's request to waive the residency requirement as provided for in NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B 4. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing no. none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molino? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 21 is the joint petition of Caesars Entertainment Inc. and Caesars Interactive Entertainment New Jersey LLC requesting qualification of William Hill, U.S. Holco Inc. David Grohlman, Kenneth Fush, Martin Logan, and Eric Hessian, pursuant to NJSA 5-12-85-1 as a new holding company of <clears throat> Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey. This matter was initiated by petition dated March 14, 2023, PRN 07552. 304 requesting multiple relief including the plenary qualification of William Hill Hoco US and the individual qualification of the um, gentlemen identified to perform the duties uh, for their respective positions you do have counsel here again for the petitioner as well as counsel for the division and with your permission mr. chairman I ask that they again enter their appearances and be allowed to proceed Good morning Chairman, members of the commission, Pacific Wagnolini from Brownstein, Hyatt, Farber, Shrek, on behalf of Caesars Entertainment, Inc. and Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC. Chairman and Commissioners, Connor Martin, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. Before you this morning is a petition seeking the plenary qualification of William Hill, U.S. Hold Co., Inc which is now a holding company of the casino licensee, Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey. Um, also seeking the plenary qualifications of four individuals associated with the operation of the Caesars digital business, uh, that being Kevin Fuchs, the Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, David Grohlman, the Senior Vice President and Chief Retail Sportsbook Officer, Eric Hessian, the President, and Martin Logan, the Chief Technology Officer and Chief Product Officer. Caesars Entertainment Inc. is the parent company of the Caesars organization. It entered into an agreement to acquire a uh, UK-based company called William Hill PLC. The ultimate goal was to acquire the US-facing assets, the sports wagering and, and online gaming assets of that entity. That transaction closed in April of, of 2021. Um, at closing, Caesars Entertainment Inc. caused the merger of a subsidiary of that PLC, William Hill U.S. Hold Co., to be merged into and with <clears throat> Caesars Interactive Entertainment, which was then the parent company of the New Jersey Casino licensee. Therefore, and, and William Hill U.S. Hold Co. was the surviving entity. Therefore, William Hill U.S. Hold Co. was required to be qualified. Um, at that time, this William Hill U.S. Hold Co. was an, a plenary, uh, I'm sorry, was a pendant qualifier in connection with William Hill U.S. New Jersey's application 
for a casino service industry enterprise license here in New Jersey. Um, that entity had obtained transaction waivers and was operating in New Jersey, and its parent company was a pending qualifier. Uh, since that entity had been through part of the process, we had made a request of the division that it allow the William Hill transaction to close thus inserting an entity that would not have otherwise been qualified above a casino licensee. Um, under the, with the understanding that we would have a resolution in place that would take the control of the casino licensee away from that holding company and put it with CEI, which was obviously a, 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 a um, qualified holding company of a casino licensee at that time. Um, that permission <clears throat> was granted, uh, order, I think it's uh, 2146, which we referenced in the petition, and the, the transaction closed. The upside to that is, as a side note, we've eliminated one of the entities that starts with a C, so we, I don't get confused with who is whom with all of these, and hopefully it'll make it a little easier for everyone, but CIE is now gone. We now have CEI, William Hill U.S. Hold Co., and the casino licensee, Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC. Um, the, ultimately, the uh, CSIE license was issued to William Hill, New Jersey, and now we're at, that was uh, this past fall, and so now we're at the point where we can qualify this holding company. Uh, we have, it was September 27, 2022 was when that license was issued, and now we're in a position to request that this entity be qualified uh, as the actual holding company of the casino licensee, at which point we will then ask that the resolution requirement that was imposed by Order 2146 be eliminated, and we will have this holding company pending your qualification of that entity. Um, the division has completed its review. It has issued its report on William Hill, U.S. Hold Co., and the four individual qualifiers. And uh, we have reviewed uh, the report. We have reviewed the <coughs> proposed resolution. I believe there were some um, comments from the division that I think were, were ultimately acceptable to, uh, to, to both the commission and myself. I'll let the commission speak to that. But, um, Otherwise, we don't have any other comments or suggestions, and we would ask that you find the entity qualified as well as the individuals. Thank you. Chairman, Commissioners, um, the division filed its report of this entity on April 3rd, and we recommended that the Commission find William Hill U.S. Hold Co. Inc. qualified as a holding company <coughs> of Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC. Uh, on April 3rd, the division also simultaneously filed reports recommending the plenary qualifications of the individuals referenced by Mr. Agnolini, uh, Kenneth Booch, uh, to serve as uh, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Caesars Digital for William Hill U.S. Hold Co., and uh, David Grohlman to serve as Senior Vice President and Chief Retail Sportsbook Officer for William Hill U.S. Hold Co., and Eric Hessian to serve as president, Caesars Digital for Caesars Entertainment, Inc., and also William Hill U.S. Hold Co., Inc., and finally for Martin Logan to serve as the chief technology officer and chief product officer for William Hill U.S. Hold Co. We have reviewed the draft resolution and submitted comments to council requesting consideration of suggested alterations before the final resolution. That is all from the division. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for council? No. No. Um, just for clarification, you this is only the assets in the United States from William Hill. Correct. Correct. What happened, um, Chairman, is when the transaction closed, Caesars immediately sought a buyer for the European facing assets and found a buyer and has sold those assets off. So all that they were after and all that they have now are the U.S. facing assets. It's under William Hill U.S. Hold Co. There is a, um, an affiliate, a, a sub of that 
called American Wagering Inc. that operates in a lot of the other jurisdictions. It, it provides some services um, to the New Jersey operation, and um, but New Jersey has its own entity that operates in New Jersey. Are you going to continue the, the verbiage of William Hill, the, the branding? So I, I believe that is the intent, at least for the foreseeable future. No one has indicated, uh, has indicated otherwise, although the, um, the business refers to this division as Caesars Digital, and that is becoming more and more common. It's not an actual entity. It's just they refer to the amalgamation of all of these entities doing this work as Caesars Digital. Thank you. Are there any other questions for counsel? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the draft resolution and grant the relief requested in the petition and A, find William Hill U.S. Hold Co. Inc. has complied with all requirements regarding the submission of information necessary for the Commission and the Division to evaluate PRN 0752-304, and B, find each of the designated natural person qualifiers, David Groman, Kenneth Fuchs, Martin Logan, and Eric Hessian qualified pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12-85.1, and C, find each of the additional designated natural person qualifiers to have been either previously found qualified and licensed or temporarily qualified and licensed by the Commission and remain so qualified or licensed. And D, find William Hill U.S. Holco, Inc., plenarily qualified as the new holding company of Casino Licensee, Caesars Interactive Entertainment, New Jersey, LLC, pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12-85.1, and subject to the extent set forth, as well as the conditions provided for in the resolution. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Yeah. Hearing the roll call vote. Commissioner Molyneux? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll work on the draft. Thank you. Sir, we circulate. Item number 22 is the resolution of the New Jersey Casino Control Commission honoring the memory of the Honorable Eileen R. Peterson, the first chairman of the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission. We would like to take this opportunity to recognize and honor the memory of Honorable Eileen Peterson, the first chairwoman of the Virginia Islands Casino Control Commission who passed away on April 25th of this year. As she undertook the task of forming the Virginia Island's first Casino Gaming Regulatory Commission, Chairman Peterson initiated a partnership with the New Jersey Casino Control Commission. The agencies worked closely together for many years. She was truly a trailblazer, and a resolution honoring her memory is one of our small, a very small gesture that we can to recognize her legacy. I'd just like to read the um, resolution. Whereas in 1996, the late Honorable Eileen Peterson was appointed the first chairwoman of the newly formed Virginia Islands Casino Control Commission by then Governor Roy Schneider. She was appointed to a full five-year term in 20, or 2000 by Governor Charles Turnbull, whereas the late Honorable Peterson forged a partnership with the New Jersey Casino Control Commission to support training of the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission staff. Um, the newly regulatory personnel, and to develop rules and compliance standards for the Virginia, for Virgin Islands casino gaming industry. Whereas the late Honorable Peterson demonstrated the highest level of personal integrity and dedication in fulfilling her duties and responsibilities as the chairwoman of the Virginia, Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission, thereby enhancing the public trust and confidence in the regulation of the casino gaming throughout the international gaming community. Whereas her passion, professionalism, and wisdom earned her the praise, respect, and admiration of her colleagues and the entire casino gaming community. 
whereas it is fitting and appropriate to commend the late Honorable Eileen Peterson for noteworthy contributions to the proper regulation of casino gaming and her valuable service to the casino gaming industry. Now, therefore, it be resolved the New Jersey Casino Control Commission and its staff hereby offers its heartfelt condolences to family, friends, and colleagues of the Honorable Eileen Peterson and ex expresses its gratitude for her contributions to the regulation of casino gaming. Be it further resolved this resolution to be placed in the record as a commemoration of our admiration of the late Honorable Eileen R. Peterson and our deepest condolences on her passing. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the draft resolution. Do we have a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. In accordance with resolution 2212-0703, the next closed session shall be held on Wednesday, June 7, 2023, at 9.30 a.m. in the Commission offices. At this time, I'd like to open up the public participation of the meeting. Is there anyone from the public that wishes to speak? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you. Could you identify yourself for the record, please? Yes, my name is Susan Maven, former Commissioner and Vice Chairman of the New Jersey Casino Control Commission from 1998 to 2001. Please proceed. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, it's my honor to speak before you today, recognizing the passing of the Honorable Eileen Peterson from the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission. At the time I met her, we were both commissioners of the, our respective casino control commissions. That was in 1998 or 1999. Uh, I represented the New Jersey Commission at a conference in Las Vegas, and that's the first time we met. Once we met, we became very close colleagues, and through that association, um, I helped to facilitate uh, our relationship with the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission and assist her that commission with training their initial uh, inspectors and staff as they were preparing for the opening of the Divi Casino. Uh, from that time uh, and then through the opening of the casino, I represented New Jersey's Casino Control Commission at the grand opening and served on their first public hearing on responsible gaming. It was my honor to do so. And through that partnership, Commissioner uh, Chairperson Peterson and I became very close colleagues in our work, and thereafter, close friends that continued uh, through her passing. It is my honor, it was my privilege and honor to uh, have that association, to visit with her, to meet members of that commission, to provide advice and counsel from our commission to theirs, and to continue that, uh, that friendship and colleagueship through the years. So at this time, I publicly wish to extend my condolences to the family of the Honorable Eileen Peterson, to her colleagues, past and present, at the, Virginia, at the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission, and to her colleagues uh, in the judiciary uh, of the uh, territory of the U.S. Virgin Islands. After I became a judge here in New Jersey, she became a, a close confidant and mentor through that process and uh, continued again until she could no longer communicate and uh, maintain that communication with me. But um, I am saddened by her passing and I wish to place my feelings on the record here and I thank you for the time to allow me to do so respectfully. Thank you. Thank you, Judge, for those um, kind comments um, to your colleague and also thank you for your service to the New Jersey Casino Control Commission. And thank you. Do we have any other public comment? Mr. Chairman, I have not been aware of any. Thank you. Okay. And we got no emails, correct? No. No comments? Okay. The public participation portion is now closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I second the motion. All in favor, say aye.